Hey guys, are you wondering what it takes to transfer into the college of your dreams? If so, this video is for you. What I'm gonna do today is talk about what it takes to transfer in to a great college. And I'm gonna give you some pointers on how to navigate the field of transferring so that you can maximize your probability of getting into the program that you most desire. Before we get started, I want to remind everybody to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking subscribe below this video and head to our website, supertutortv.com slash subscribe to sign up for our mailing list. Also, you can check out while you're there the best ACT prep course ever. It's a complete prep series for the ACT with over 50 hours of video content. And it's a lot cheaper than private tutoring, but it's kind of like private tutoring because I'm gonna tell you all the secrets that I tell all my private students. So let's get into this now. As many of you who are watching this video might be aware, uh, if you don't get into the college of your dreams on your first try when you are entering freshman year, or maybe if you weren't totally on the ball your entire four years in high school, you might want to still try to get into a good university and take a shot at the second chance called transferring. Even our last two presidents are transfer students. Donald Trump, for example, transferred from Fordham University to the University of Pennsylvania, the Wharton School there. And President Obama transferred from Occidental College to Columbia University. So there you go, fun fact. So whether you are planning to take your next step toward becoming president of the United States, or you're just not totally into the college that you're attending or only in community college, so no, you have to transfer. We're going to talk about the best way for you to maximize your probability of getting into an awesome school. The first piece of advice that I have for you guys is be strategic about where the heck you're applying to transfer. Because when it comes to transfer admission rates, they are not the same as regular admission rates. Now, this fact actually works in both directions for you guys. First, it works in the direction of helping you if you're applying to a school that actually really seeks out transfer students and may even have a higher rate of admission for transfers than it does for traditional undergrads. But it can work against you if you're applying to a school that is way more competitive on the transfer circuit than it is for freshman admissions. What I'm gonna do right now is give you some quick lists of schools that are one, impossible or really, really, really hard to get into as a transfer, two, possible but not much more possible than had you applied as a freshman or a rising freshman, uh, and three, schools where you actually have a potentially same or better chance of admission if you apply as a transfer student. The first thing I'm gonna say is if you wanna to go to Princeton, you cannot transfer to Princeton. It is the one school that does not allow transfer students and it has not since 1991 because they just don't have space at Princeton. So when it comes to other schools, Harvard, Yale, Stanford, University of Chicago, MIT, Caltech, Dartmouth, Brown, and Duke University all have terrible admit rates for transfers. Next list is schools that are top 15 schools that you might have a shot at transferring to, but not much more of a shot than if you were trying to apply as a freshman and you have similar statistics. So those schools would be Columbia University, Johns Hopkins, Wash U in St. Louis, University of Pennsylvania and Northwestern, and Rice. The next list of schools that I wanna share with you is schools where you may, and may, because I can't predict the future, have a better chance at getting in as a transfer student than as a freshman. And those schools are Cornell, University of Notre Dame, Emory, University of California, Berkeley, Vanderbilt, UCLA, USC, University of Virginia, Tufts, UNC Chapel Hill. Those schools historically have allowed more students to get in as transfers percentage-wise than the number of students that they've admitted as freshmen. So you have better odds getting in as a transfer to those schools than you do getting in as a freshman. The second point that I have for all you, my big tip for transfers is that grades matter. Grades are freaking huge when it comes to transferring. And which grades? Your college grades. You might be asking why in the world would some of these schools go out of their way to let in more transfers than they do freshmen? And one of the reasons may have to do with the fact that if they have more data on how you perform in college and in college level courses, that information, that grade, 
GPA information is more predictive of your ability to succeed in college as a whole than your high school grades are. If you can get straight A's in college, wherever you are in college, that shows colleges that you're applying to as a transfer that you have what it takes to get decent grades and it shows them you're not going to flunk out of school or do something silly. A lot of high schools around the country may have different scales of grading and it can be really hard for colleges to gauge like, is that something I can trust? Whereas when you're at a college level, that's a more serious level of study. And so I think colleges find that that correlates better with continued GPA at their institution than a high school GPA would. So if you're wondering why are they letting in these kids, that might be why. They might be safer bets. It's also, again, this idea that you can extend opportunity to students who may not have the resources or the finances to have attended your institution from the beginning. My third tip for people who want to transfer is you really have to check individual schools for their policies. When it comes to transferring, the rules are all over the map. Some schools will admit people both for fall and for winter. You might have a much better chance of getting in if you apply to USC, for example, for admission halfway through the year than in the fall. Some schools have different admit rates according to majors. For example, UCLA releases data on what their admit rates are by major. So if you want to transfer into computer science, for example, that's a really tough major to transfer into. But if you want to do East Asian studies, that major has a much higher admit rate. So because there's impacted majors at some schools, not at all, but they might be able to share that with you and that might help you make some decisions to uh, better position yourself to transfer. And then finally, my fourth tip for you transfer students is know what is required of you. Requirements to transfer are often different than requirements to apply as a freshman. So make sure you look at the right checklist. Sometimes schools want to see your SAT and ACT scores, and almost always it's an option to submit those if they're strong. But some schools allow you to apply and not send those at all, even major schools. And this really varies school to school. So you need to go and see, do I need to take these standardized tests? Some schools might require that you have over 30 units of college already completed before you're allowed to transfer. Other schools might say you have to have fewer than a certain number of credits to transfer. Usually there's some sort of range that you have to be in. And the other thing that I'm going to admit to you guys is that no matter where you're transferring, at some point in your application, you almost always are going to have to tell your story of why the heck do you want to transfer. And I will tell you if it makes sense that you want to transfer and there's reasoning to back it up, you're going to be a better candidate than if you really don't have any good reason, but you want to live in a different state. So that's about it. Again, uh, my best advice is for you guys to really know the landscape of what's going on when you transfer. Uh, and that means know that the statistics are different, know that there are different requirements, uh, and know that different things are expected of you. And the parameters by which you're going to be judged are a little bit different from when you are a freshman applicant. Again, grades matter more than anything when it comes to being a transfer student, more than high school activities, more than all that other jazz that you had to worry about uh, when you're applying from high school. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. We have lots of videos here on YouTube about the SAT and the ACT, and we have a complete prep series that you guys can check out. And I will see you guys next time on Super Tutor TV. Thanks for joining us.